Right, Halloween stuff is here. Wilkinson's. Looks like some of the Christmas stuff is being picked up quickly as well. Yeah, I've never seen the shelves this empty. 9th of October. Here we go. Sorry for any gaps again. Supply chain disruptions are really in. There's still quite a bit of stuff, but notable, notable gaps. That's the second apology notice I've seen, if not the third. Yourself a bacon tray. Oh, there's still one left. Okay. Some tools. I bet they're from China because they're cheap. <laughs> or rather, they're not from China. Sorry for any gaps. Sorry for any gaps. Okay, I need washing up liquid and things like that. So, I mean, tools and things are missing. So tools and soaps and shampoos and Christmas stuff, healthcare stuff. These shelves are not very full. There's a distinct lack of fullness in these shelves, even where they're not empty. On the medicines cabinet in Wilkinson's. This is very, very unusual. This is going to accelerate. This is going to accelerate tremendously, you can tell. It's only just starting. I mean, we're only at the beginning of October, 9th of October. This is in town, so... So let's go and have another look. Body products missing. Sanitary towels, some of them missing. Fair few shampoos, but the backs of the shelves are empty. Notice, look. I mean, maybe they're going to restock. It's Saturday. Huge gaps here in shampoos. Some of the Christmas decorations going. I mean, if they get supplies by Christmas, nobody's going to buy anything because they've bought them all already. Christmas decorations going. I've never seen this so empty. Glasses. See, this stuff is probably all made in China. Like many other things, we're struggling to get products into our stores right now. Some of the pottery missing. Microwaves, toasters and things starting to get a little bit empty. Whatever's here, photo frames, nothing very important, probably. Photo frames have practically disappeared off the face of the earth. Okay, it's time for me to get my stuff now and get out of here.